no joke the island does provide and it's just it's just fact right here look what we found on the island huh all right guys what is going on my name is catman vlogs or catman joe or i guess joe welcome back to another brand new video guys today we're back with part three of our little kind of island adventure and um, our little building on the island kind of adventure series that we're currently doing um i just want to say guys i know i probably look the exact same from the last episode that is literally because this is right the day after um and i pretty much just got all my clothes to, uh, all my clothes then fucking shit just washed it pretty much the exact same night so i guess it's pretty irrelevant but just in case anybody wants to say he looks literally like he just doesn't ever change i actually do but i really only wear like two main shirts or t-shirts whenever i go in this like in the sun because they're like my only really summer wear kind of clothes um, but yeah guys, as I said, welcome back to another brand new video, welcome back to another brand new vlog. Today guys, we're going to be going back to the island to go drain off the massive pool, pretty much at the bridge that we built yesterday, um, or not yesterday, the bridge that we built in the last episode. Um, I'm going to be draining out the entire pool of all this water, then hopefully filling it in with the rake that we might be bringing, and uh, hopefully just kind of caving that whole area and it can turn it into a nice little kind of walking area, uh, walking kind of area guys. So uh, yeah, we got a lot of work to do today, we got a lot of different stuff to do today guys. But I'm sure we're gonna do it. So you guys, welcome back to another brand new vlog. All right, guys. So now we're currently just walking down to the actual island. We're a little bit, well, you know, still a little bit far away, not too far, guys. But as you can see behind me, this is how it's looking today, guys. I mean, I know it looks really shady, but it's called underneath a tree right now to record this. But guys, it is honestly just stunning today. It's like 24 degrees, 22, maybe even 23, 23, 24, at least 22 degrees minimum though. Uh, today it's just a really hot day, and it's gonna stay like this for quite a while where I am. So that's really nice. I can get a bunch of island kind of stuff done that needs to get done. Um, <laughs> there's a shit again. You can't see my eyes anymore because of hot. But look at that guys, that is just stunning. Like you can just see like how blue the sky is. It's actually unbelievable. I mean, over there you guys can probably see my dad as well over in the distance. But you can see the jungle, that's where we're going for right now. But the place is totally different guys and it just looks fantastic. So you guys, anyway, we're gonna continue making our way to the island. We're gonna get over there and uh, see how it all is. All right guys, so I just kinda wanna cut in here while this kinda speed clip's kinda going on in the background. Um, now I just want to kind of say something so I'm sure that you guys have probably already noticed that from the last clip till this clip It kind of like leaves a bit of a pause. It feels like that someone else should have been there and um, <laughs> that's because there actually should have been um, Basically guys what's been happening. I you know I've explained this in you know the previous vlogs on this channel But you know in between making these vlogs sometimes there can be gaps of weeks You know from two weeks to three weeks to four weeks to sometimes just a week It really just depends on how good the weather is or when I do make the vlog or how much time I have to make multiple vlogs and what happened guys, was pretty much in the making of this vlog, um, I, you know, I made the entire video like you guys are going to see, I made all of it, um, including the part that was supposed to be in between this clip and the last clip, which was kind of me getting onto the island and showing you guys that, you know, no one's been here, and uh, just in general, just kind of, I guess, messing around an island a little bit. And what happened though, sadly, was because I made this entire vlog, and then I went to make another vlog the next day, I came back the very next day to make the third vlog, or the fourth episode, sorry, of the island, which you guys will see, not next week, but the week after that. Um, what happened was in between that some of the footage actually got deleted and it wasn't actually intentionally or anything What happened was when I actually upload this footage to my laptop, which is what you know usually happens uh, Once I you know kind of finish making the entire day or the entire vlog in general uh, I end up uploading all the clips and all the footage and all the photos and all the kind of stuff that comes with the you know the entire of the you know main vlog um, to my laptop where then I'll put it onto my USB which then I'll put it onto my PlayStation which then I'll edit. Um, sadly though this, this vlog that you guys are watching right now is recorded like two weeks you know before now and um, sadly enough obviously I recorded two vlogs in between that as well so I really just end up running out of, like actual storage and for some reason my files been deleted and I actually lost one or two clips uh, from this vlog. Uh, they're not really major again, one that was just coming to the island, just speaking about that. Um, another one was kind of me just, I think, I don't know what it was specifically, I think it was me just another speed kind of part of the video and I was like, yeah, draining that part of the, I guess, the water or anything. Um, again, no, I just wanted to call you guys in, let you guys know that. I um, hope you guys are enjoying the kind of chill music playing in the background and uh, also the speed kind of me emptying out the whole pool, which uh, definitely wasn't a success, but yeah, <laughs> enjoy the vlog. I'm telling you the right girl, so I can only say that it feels right. Alright guys, so giving you a quick little bit of an update, this has been about what, 
maybe 20, 25, no, I would probably say not 25, I would say about 20 minutes later, um, I've just got finished doing about 60 buckets, um, not bucket fulls, but I'll tell you guys how much, of water, and uh, I don't think anyone can really notice the difference, I can barely notice the difference, um, but there's the water there, and I know it doesn't look like nothing's changed, maybe it has, I don't know, maybe you guys can see it better than me, um, but it has went down about that, like that much, and I know you can't really compare size, but we're talking, I know, maybe max, and I'm talking max, eight, maybe nine centimeters or something, like nothing really, like really when you consider it, it's like that, um, which isn't exactly a lot, but you know, for all the work I'm putting on right now, it's, it's a lot of work, it's grinding out. Um, I'm, I've literally took out so many liters of water, honestly guys, and the bucket itself, I'm using the original black one, doesn't really help, so I'm using the big one now, and um, that actually tells me how much obviously liters or gallons I'm, you know, taking out, and I could be taking out in total, like at the maximum amount, it's like 40 liters or something, but uh, that's already done like 5 gallons or something of water, um, if I fill the bucket right to the top, but that's a lot more work and a lot more effort. Um, which I know it sounds kind of weird, but it actually is kind of thing. Um, it's better to make it a lot smaller amount so it's easier to carry, so I can make more trips faster and I can get more done, it's just logical. So right now, I've been taking minimum, I would say, 20 litres every single time going across, because that isn't too heavy for me, 20 litres is not too bad, right? Now, if you compare that to every 10 walks, right, every 10 times I do it, say, it's, you know, maybe just under, just over 20 uh, litres, that is 200 litres every, you know, 10 buckets. Now, I've done about 60, so, you know, we're talking like what? 1,200, you know, liters of water I've already took out, like 1,000, you know, <laughs> 1,200 liters of water, guys, I've already took out in like the space, like, you know, 25 minutes, which I, I know on paper sounds like a lot, um, but, you know, there could easily be 10, 20,000 liters in this little pond kind of thing, there could easily be that much. Um, I'm still just going to keep going, guys, because honestly, I, you know, I can't stop. If I stop and it rains, it's just going to refill it back up and my solution never really gets fixed. So my overall plan is, guys, um, I'm going to keep just draining out the water, keep going, keep like just pushing myself and listening to music anyway. Uh, keep kind of just doing that continuously, guys. I'm probably, I'm probably going to end up taking off my t-shirt as well because I'm literally boiling. This is like a navy blue, blackish top. So I'm honestly just getting cooked right now. Uh, I can just feel myself getting more frustrated because of it because it's just that hot. Um, I'm literally just tempted just to jump into like, the actual water because it's that hot. But my plan is, guys, I'm going to keep draining out the water and keep draining out and draining out and draining out and bringing it down maybe about a foot. And my plan is to take it down maybe a foot, a foot and a half. And then once I've done that, we're going to do some other stuff, um, you know, just to make sure it cannot ever go about past that foot again. So what I mean is, once we get down about a foot and a half, I'm going to grab a bunch of rocks from everywhere and I'm going to kind of build like a kind of like a dam kind of idea, but I'm going to raise all the rocks to the surrounding rocks to the height of this little island that I'm on right now. Um, so they, you know, they'll raise a foot as well. Um, so basically, in logical terms, it means that when the water does raise again, if it does raise, and I don't actually manage to empty the entire pool that area will not refill that will just stay the same height and that whole little pond will just stay the same depth so what i can do is then i can keep moving it smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller in until i've got literally no pond left or a little bit of a pond if i want to uh, which is my plan i don't want to get rid of the entire thing i do want to get rid of most of it but i do want to keep like a little bit of it though nonetheless because it's nice to have water kind of just over from us um it, it just it looks better so you guys that's what i'm going to do that's what i'm going to continue doing i've got the solar panel phone charger there charging so i can keep charging my phone listening to music and stuff and um yeah guys i'm just gonna keep kind of cracking on working away guys so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video so far by the way i know it's a little bit weird probably a fast transition like a minute ago or whatever but uh, i just thought i'd do it because it's kind of a cool idea and i think it'll be pretty cool anyway once it's done but you guys let's uh let's just get it done all right guys so real quick i just wanted to interrupt what i'm doing right now i've been still emptying out the water you guys probably see right behind me right there um, it's still empty now, it's still getting drained out, and it's came down a little bit more again, but it's still, I've got a lot to do, guys. But uh, just a minute ago, I was walking up here, right, and I was like, you know, I'm going to look for some big boulders, some big rocks, or some other kind of materials, just in case I can maybe use it to fill up the water, um, or to help me build some other stuff in the future. Now, we came up here, I believe, in the first episode, um, just to have a look here real quick, guys, and this area was what I, you know, described as probably the best place for a camp, because out of everywhere in the island, this area has got some shade, and it has, as you guys can see around us, plenty of wood, it's all rock and it's a massive big flat bed and it's also the highest up of any other part of the island this is above the water height and everything so i instantly voted for this place but it didn't really happen obviously guys but we still kind of we haven't really used it or haven't really kind of explored this area at least i haven't so i was over here and back there you might have just seen i found a big steel girder and i was like okay that's kind of strange what's that doing here it's from my fence or something but it's a bit strange to see out here and then i was walking down here this little part just behind me right here a little kind of gully that uh well it's kind of covered in nettles a little bit it's a little bit annoying to get to and it's got some murky ass water but i can I already see here there's a fence guys there's fence there's another pallet up there hold on right there i guess you guys can maybe see that that's another pallet there's some fencing here there's other materials that we haven't even noticed we've not even explored down here again as i you know as i've already said we or at least i was originally wanting to camp here this was actually where i went to be right behind me right there as you guys can see it's all flat 
I think still to this day, it's a perfect place to build something. But again, my dad and Dylan, they kind of disagreed with it. They were like, nah, we're building a different place. It's better. So in a more shadier place. But I think this is like undoubtedly the best area. But I suppose from up the mountains above us over there, you can kind of see there's paths up there and stuff. And people can walk uh, walk up there, obviously. And you could do, you know, they could see this. Um, so we, we just obviously didn't, guys. But the thing is, I said, we've not explored over here. And this area right here, yeah, there's got some water and stuff. This is nothing. It doesn't matter. I could probably clear this out if I went to as well. But I'm not really, I'm not in the mood for cleaning out anything. Not until I get that damn thing done. Um, but over here, there's a bunch of wood. There is another pallet, which I'm going to grab in a minute. See if it's still, I guess, usable. Uh, there's another, I said, seat thing here. I've got no clue, guys. I don't know. So I'm going to pull this stuff out, but I'm going to continue draining out the water. We're still doing it, or at least I am. It's drained maybe about that much more, a couple more centimeters, nothing, though, guys. And it's so much effort going into it. But I'm going to keep trying to drain out as much as I can, guys, and trying to just, you know, I guess, take it down as far as I can. I'm still trying to push for that one foot deep kind of drain out so I can start building this main path that I want to build, right? But uh, you guys, so I'll, I'll let you continue watching and uh, I'll get back to getting all this kind of junk out. Guys, all, all I can say for this part is you will not believe what I'm sitting on right now. Um, my speculation was right. There was a lot of good stuff behind where we were. Um, where I went to in the last clip, there was what I'm sitting on right now. Um, there was also that pallet. The pallet, sadly, was a little bit bust up, but it was still working in some sense, so I brought it over still. Um, there was a bunch of dry wood, but the thing I'm sitting on right now, guys, that is, that is the creme de la creme. I don't know what to say. It's, it's the best thing ever, guys. No joke. The island does provide, and it's just it's just fact right here. Look what we found on the island, huh? Do you guys know what this is? I do. Do you guys know? That's a bench right there. I know it's like, oh, wow, well done, Joe. What do you want to run to applause or some shit? Like, guys, it's a perfectly fine, like, bench. We have a hammer and everything, and so we managed to hammer in a few, like, nails that were kind of loose and stuff. Um, so there's no way of us getting any tetanus or anything or whatever, but... Guys, oh my god, I cannot tell you the feeling like just being able to sit here and sunbathe with this bench is just unbelievably good. And well, I was gonna give it a clean up, like it was pretty much already like not even technically, it was already pretty much completely fine. One of the legs a little bit busted up, but that's all. But I swear to god, this must have I don't know how. I'm guessing there must have been a bench or something upstream um on one of the bankings or some uh, something like that. I guess there, I know where there is some up like up from us, but I mean, I, I guess the water must have just rised and a while ago it's just flung our brothers all the way down, which is, I'm not going to deny it like it's a bad thing. This is fantastic for us guys. We can now, as I'll be show you right now, everybody, like you can literally see if I just back up over here. Look at this. This is fantastic. We've got our barbecue area that we actually have used. We've got our bench. We've got the old sitting area where we can still use now. We've got all this. It's just like, it is, I don't even know what to say guys. It's just brilliant. It's fantastic. And um, real quick as well, the water thing, I have actually, since that last clip, I've literally done nothing. I know someone's gonna be like, well, you know, are you gonna quit? Like, is that you? No, 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 no. Over there, you guys might be able to notice, uh, I don't know where that is, I can't really see it on my screen. It's somewhere like around here, but there is a black Zulu bin or a wheelie bin, whatever you prefer to call it. That was on the island as well. Someone must have like lost it at their home and that is literally flooded down the water and then onto the island and it was just stuck in a bunch of mud and stuff. I pulled it out and I just kind of walked down with it in the water and it just kind of cleaned it, but also was easier to move because I'd rather have to travel all the way through the entire island or all the way through like the jungle and the island with it. Now, here's my plan now, guys, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the original bucket that we were using and I'm gonna fill it right up this time. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep filling up the bucket and then pouring that into the Zulu bin. And then what I'm gonna do is once the Zulu bin itself is full, honestly, I'm just gonna be able to carry that literally two feet across, empty out and then do the exact same. Rather than me having to make, you know, 10 or 20 trips every time I fill up the bucket or half fill it or quarter fill it so it's easier. Now I can totally fill it up, then empty it right into the bin. Then once the bin's full, move all the way across. Now that can hold, as I've already said, five gallons of water, the original bucket. I can fill that bin up I don't know, like maybe 20 times of it. So, like straight up front, guys, that's like 100 gallons of water right there just into a bucket that we can transport with these now and I can get this thing emptied in no time because that whole one bucket at a time thing and walking across of it, that was just taking forever, guys. And then the heat is just too much, honestly. It's still like 23, 24 degrees, so it's just way too much. But yeah, I'm going to continue doing that, guys, this time being serious. So I'm going to hopefully be to empty this out completely now because I can actually just get it done in like no time. And yeah, guys, I just cannot believe what we found. All right, so boys and girls, we are at the end of the video. And yes, I just did call everybody boys and girls. I hope you do enjoy that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, we're sadly at the end of this video, guys, the end of this episode. It might be a little bit shorter than usual, uh, but that's just for the fact that, guys, I'm probably going to be back down here tomorrow and recording part four and stuff and just getting right into recording the next couple parts. Um, but, you know, guys, I just have to take my time with this. I don't want to rush any episodes and stuff, and I want to try and do everything at my own pace and different projects. Uh, we're still going to be working on emptying out that pool. That's a project that I just couldn't completely take on today, guys. 
Um, but that's everybody leaving the island right now. My dad, my uh, dad's girlfriend, her uh, her daughter, um, they're all leaving the island right now. So I'm currently like the last one here uh, just to show you guys what's happened. So today, guys, it's currently right now, I believe, like half past seven at night. Um, it's, you know, half past seven, maybe quarter to eight, um, you know, 8 p.m. almost. And we've been here for about eight, nine hours, honestly, guys. I mean, we've been here for hours and it has been a drag. It's been a long, 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 long day. Not in a bad way, but it's just been a long day. But it just has been amazing, guys. So let me just show you for starters how this place is looking. I don't know if you guys can notice a massive difference right away. As you guys can see, we've got a bench now. We can actually sit down. The fire pit's perfectly positioned. That's really nice. And uh, we got obviously everything's all cleaned up. Over here, by the way, guys, I don't know if you have noticed this. This looks actually pretty cool, in my opinion. This right here is like a balcony. I know it looks kind of dumb, but we found that way over there. Big steel girder. I think I showed it on the uh, one just before we found the bench. Um, but this now is like our kind of balcony. Um, I put stones all around the bottom and got rid of all the like nettles and stuff so we can actually see. Uh, behind me as you guys might be able to see up there i've actually built some stuff i used some nails that i pulled out of the other piece of uh, plywood kind of thing the other uh what's the name of it oh my god it's terrible the other um that's i can't honestly remember the name I, i'll have it pop up something i don't know i'll pop up the name but yeah basically i found another one of those obviously you guys seen it on video as well and um i used all the nails and stuff and all the wood out of that to recycle to build an actual like hammock kind of thing up there and uh, not for lying on just to clarify um, i found some uh, material some fabric and i used that as like a roof and nailed it all down and stuff and nailed it all around with some planks so now underneath that we can actually put like our stuff that's valuable that we have to leave here um sadly of course but we, you know we can't just keep bringing stuff back and forward so most of it we do actually end up leaving but uh you guys so i said that's us about to leave the island that's us about to kind of give it a, a good night because uh, i've got to get back home it's monday tomorrow guys for me and uh, i gotta get to record a bunch of videos tonight for you guys this week on my main channel but uh you guys other than that, thank you for watching today's video. As always, if you guys did go to enjoy it, please, 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 please be sure to smack the like button. And also, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Um, this channel is on its way to 1K, which is phenomenal. It's unbelievable, guys. And I really am enjoying the support you guys are giving me on these episodes and these vlogs. I'm so happy to be back doing them. So I really hope you guys are enjoying them. But uh, you guys, other than that, thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you on the next one. And you guys, peace out. Keep my feelings aside. No.